Introducing Stake, the go-to tool for validating and delegating on the Avalanche network. Experience the most seamless way to stake, delegate, and perform cross-chain transfers across the XP and C chains. For this tutorial, we're going to do a cross-chain transfer and show you how to do it in Core Stake. First, make sure that you've downloaded the Core extension from the Google Chrome Store and created a wallet. Once you've done that, you can connect your wallet to core.app and you're ready to do a cross-chain transfer. For this tutorial, I have the testnet mode turned on and I'll be initiating a cross-chain transfer using Fuji AVAX. Make sure that you click stake on the left-hand side once you're on Core Web, and then you can select cross-chain transfer. This is a transfer of tokens that occurs between the X, P, and C chains, also known as the exchange chain, platform chain, or contract chain. To move tokens between Avalanche, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, you can go to this bridge tool, which will take you to a different functionality within Core Web. Once you have AVAX that's on the C chain and you want to initiate a cross chain transfer, you can go here and it will let you know what your available balance is for the source chain that you've selected. On the C chain, I have 469 Fuji AVAX that's available that I want to move to the P chain, which is the destination chain. So I'll make sure that this is from the source chain, which is C, to the destination chain, which is the P chain. And I'm going to move 10 Fuji AVAX over. This will give me an overview of the minimum export fee. The C chain atomic transactions charge dynamic fees, which cannot be fully estimated before constructing the transaction. The full fee will be displayed during signing. Once I've reviewed all of this, I can click confirm transfer. You'll be prompted to sign two separate transactions, one export followed by one import. After you've clicked it, it will open a window in the core extension and you can click approve here. The export has been successful and then it will open another window for the import and you can click approve and the import has been successful. So I'm going to click view on Explorer here just to make sure everything looks good, which it does. And I've moved it from the C chain to the P chain. If I go back here and I select the P chain from the drop down menu, I'll see that I now have 9.999 Fuji AVAX here. In the same manner, if I want to move them from the P chain to the X chain, I just make sure that the source and the destination reflects what I just mentioned. And I'm going to click the max again and click confirm transfer, hit approve for the export. And then I'm going to click approve for the import. And that is now successful as well. Again, if you wanted to, you could view this on the Explorer. Otherwise, you could change the chain from here and you'll see it properly reflected. If you have any additional questions about cross-chain transfers, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to assist you.